It's all about the motherfucking money. 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 Yo. Yo. What's good, my boy? Nah, um, I had went to bed like five in the morning. I was working on it, and then I just got up, got up early today, and just went to work out or whatever, trying to, trying to at least jog or whatever. Now a little bit, you know what I'm saying, just to get the strength back in my leg. Got you, got you back running and shit. Nah, I ain't really running, I ain't gonna front. It was kinda more like a walk. It just it be hurting like I start off and then I try to jog and then I just have sharp pains in my leg for like man, even now it's throbbing now. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Hope we'll see. Hopefully it's been like been like three years now. I feel like I'm damn damn near crippled, you know what I'm saying? Nah, fact. Shit, at least you gonna get a bag out that shit. Yeah, I'm, that's, that's true. I'm going to get the bag, but to be honest, it ain't, it don't even be about the money at this point with me. So I was like, all right, when well, I'm going to get a couple million from uh, uh, Live Nation or Urban Plaza, however it go. But that that money, don't it don't be worth everything. You know what I'm saying? The money the money can't bring banger back. The money can't have me running with my kids no more. You know what I'm saying? Like the money, it, it just can't bring certain things back that it ain't worth it. But... You know, I guess it'll help. It'll help out a little bit. That in time. Mm, tripping. I can't. I can't even bounce around on stage like I used to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, that would make you though, man. That's a fact. Your situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like that they went through that. They would have been folded. You know, you know that. that. You know God. Certain people get those. You know God gives his toughest battles to the strongest soldiers. You know what I'm saying? So. We ain't checking. I'm going um, to jump in the studio. As soon as I finish this, I'm going to jump in the shower. I'm going to finish the smoothie. And then I'm going to jump in the studio and, and get you the stuff. I think we got the artwork on the way. I think Ape was working on the artwork. Um, He got the pictures and everything, so we should be a go. And we'll drop like, we'll drop like ASAP. Oh, shit. Okay. That's a bad All right, my boy. Later on. Got his great paper straight. Got his smile. It don't matter if they hate. Got his smile. You the one, no debate. Got his smile. Keep it real, fuck whoever, keep it fake. Got his smile. In the mirror, you in love. Got his smile. This your song, going to hit in the club. Got his smile. Everything is on fleet. Got his smile. Twerking, you a little freak. Got his smile. Doing good by yourself. Got his smile. On your ground, trying to get the good wealth. Got his smile. You do that shit, hey. So today I am going to help my best friend Aisha with her event that she's been planning for so long. She's an amazing event planner, one of the best hands down, and I'm not just saying that because she's my best friend. So I'm so excited to be able to accompany her and also help her with this big project. Do I need to help you guys with this side? Yeah, you need to help me. Where is it? We're bringing these glasses over here. You you can't take these like this. It's about to fall out of my hand. Just take these. Girl, I already got the cake. And of course, as soon as I walk in, the shit show begins. They don't know what's going on, girl. They trying to put different shit on different shows. They gotta be on both. She told me she needs both sides. I think so. And you know she's about to come out here fucking event playing with Zilla. We got 10 minutes. Okay, we got 10 minutes to move this shit before she come over here and start tearing shit up. Event playing with Zilla. Her head's spinning back there, her. Yeah, she's she's literally losing it on a whole nother level. Chantel and I are just having our conversation and we're just trying to figure out ways to ease her anxiety. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's having a meltdown. I know. So what do I need to do? 
Tell her everything's all set. That's what you should tell her. She doesn't want people to come. Tell her, tell her. Tell her the dessert thing is all set and everybody who's not so sweet, who's not dressed appropriately is gone. Okay, we'll go see it. We cannot let her know that things are still being put together. So she wants the other one. Everything else is fine. This is fine that she yeah, wants. She just asked me about these right here. Okay, all right. Uh, Aisha is in her normal state, which is super panicking most of the time for no reason because she's a super perfectionist. Yeah, the space looks amazing. Thank you. And I know you're so like on work. edge. You can't even enjoy how it looks so because anxiety. you're going crazy. I don't know if I did this right again. Yeah, the goal is to just have a middle piece mm -hmm. and then the, the sit up like this. But everything's pretty much on time. That's a good thing. Yeah. We're all done. What everything's time is it? done. And it's time check. It's 2 58. Three o'clock. Yeah, so totally. And I was on time. Oh, good. Are you proud I of appreciate me? you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was scared when you asked me today, like, what time are you starting? I thought you was going to get here at four. No, 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 no. She told me at the last minute there was a color. I kind of had an outfit planned and I'm like, okay. And it wasn't nowhere near the color that you wanted. So I'm yeah, like, I think black and gold, you guys looking good hosting. You mm -hmm. and Chantel both wore all black. So mm -hmm. I think that's yeah, we coordinated thing. over the phone this morning. Oh, yeah. but you guys, it's similar outfits mm -hmm. too. So super cute. Her hair's good in the back. Wanna fix it? I want it like, you know how you usually do it messy? I just reassured Aisha that everything is gonna be fine. And I told everyone else to let her know everything is under control. I know that that outfit's not gonna cut it. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, you gotta right. ask. I'm, I'm like, she has like, a bubble coat. Like, am I good to stay? Wait, she has a bubble coat. Yeah. Like, no, she gotta go. No bubble coat. I didn't want to bother her and ask her because she was in a, a crazy state, but now she's a little bit more calm, so. That's why I said, when I said that, tell her everybody's here. Because she's back there, like, something going No, crazy. she was like, but once, but once everybody got here and she didn't propose here, she needed to calm that down and she was going to calm that down. I no, know. she was like, oh my God, people are here, people are here. They made her more crazy. <laughs> yeah, they come back here right now to say hi to you. She would bring it right down. Aisha. You like me? Hey yo, these beef fried niggas tryna assassinate me. When that ain't work, they turn around and tryna assassinate my character. Man, I can't be stopped. I'm self made, not man made. I'm a soldier of God, and it's a war on these streets. Real verse fake, good verse evil. I just dropped a new project called Killer Be Killed, cause that's how I'm on it. And they ain't gotta give me no credit. It's cool, cause I got the cash. If you love New York City, the album made you without a deal. With bricks in my backpack is that type of vibe. I didn't draw inspiration from all the classics that look and sound like New York. Hit the scan and tell a friend. My thing went off. Why, right is, why is this sitting up here? This should be right there. She's on this side. This is Sydney. This is Audrey. She's right here, right here, where you're at. Yep. Finally, she comes to me and Chantel and tries to explain to us this game that she wants us to host. So for the next game, which we're gonna play now, they have to form two circles. Okay. An outer circle, inner circle. You think you want that? <laughs> Go ahead. You want all that. Uh, outer circle, she inner is. circle, right? Chantel's gonna ask, the outer circle to ask the inner circle a question. They have a minute to answer. One person has one minute to answer the question. The next person has another minute. After that happens, you have either circle, inner or outer, rotate to the left or right. So if you say outer circle, rotate three steps. So they have to move three steps. And now they're in front of another person. They need to ask a second question. Are you following me? Chantel and I, for the life of us, cannot figure out what the hell this game is or even how to start it or put it together. Let's be honest, don't even, don't even no, lie. I was about to say, you I'm gonna ask the question and you're gonna direct the round oh, because I was... <laughs> no, we need you one more time. No, so this, two circles. Time is gonna sink in. So. We literally are having blonde moments. Hi everyone, 
I just want to say thank you so much for coming out. The purpose of this hour, the three to four hour, was really to network, right? So the first game, find someone that you didn't know that had your name tag to start talking, right? Because a lot of us shy away from networking and talking to people. Um, so that's why I structured it this way. Look at you. Look, I know. It <laughs> seems like, feels like forever. You know, I know. A week ago. I know. And you was here on time. Wow. Girl, aren't you proud of me? No, no, it's not done. Girl. This makeup is three days old. I've literally been running so crazy that I haven't had time to even find a makeup artist. So what do I do? I just sleep in that shit. So yeah, we really need to like figure out what we're gonna do with this pick because I want it to be like super amazing. Because he, he's leaving it, like I, it's in my hands and he has like, he doesn't have high expectations, but he doesn't know what I'm capable of or what we're capable of. Well, you was telling me that he has so many things going on. So yeah, that's so I want to try to incorporate. You right. do like, you said something about his label or his, his just clothing stopped. line and something else you would say something about. Right, it, I think if we do the clothing line, it should probably be just the clothing line. Mm -hmm. But if we do music, then we can do like- Yeah, he, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he, sold, he has like a gold record now. A gold record? Yeah. And um, a couple of other things, he has an album coming out. We can oh, that. that's what I was saying, I know yeah. what you were saying that. So I think that would, yeah. Awesome. All right. I'll send you the money or whatever, and then um, stop thinking of like mad creative shit. Cause I want it to be like this. It's a big deal, I know yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. But I'm like, I'm thinking of stuff, and I'm like, I don't know which way to go with right, it. So right. maybe we sit down and show me a couple of photos. And right, like, exactly, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah. When I first came in, she's literally screaming at me. Right. Like, I don't know! <laughs> like, Chill out, okay. chill out. Her hairstyle was like, cause she never seen her in that ele oh. element. She always sees her when she's extra calm. Oh, I'm yeah. like, don't worry, this is normal. Like, What's going on with the fruit? What's that sticking on? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, why is everybody right. still in okay. here? Look, the kid, the part that killed me, she's like, I need everybody out of there if they have a fucking bubble coat or whatever. What is she talking about? <laughs> I am Aisha James. I thank you so much for coming. Let's talk a little bit about myself. I've been doing event planning five years now. Um, I didn't take event planning serious in the beginning. I started Endless Flair just to create a portfolio because I applied for an event planning company and they were like, yeah, no, because you have no work to show us that you're capable of doing this. So I said, all right, I'll start this company and I will create a portfolio. Three years ago, I decided that I have to work for myself. I have a four-year-old son. I also work a full-time job, so I haven't transitioned yet, but in the process of transitioning from corporate America to event planning full-time, but I have a four-year-old son and I need the flexibility. This is a big thing for us this year, um, stepping out on faith, right? Public speaking has been the biggest fear of mine forever. I started in January taking public speaking classes because I know that my purpose in this life is to inspire, influence other people. But you can't do that if you're scared to get on a mic. So I, I wanna say like, yesterday was the first time I had to speak to a group of girls because I mentor as well. I held the mic because I had to give a presentation. And today I was so nervous, so nervous, so nervous, but God put this on my heart and it's like, well you have so much to give, right? And so, yes, we're all nervous. All right, so bear with us. And, and we wanted to do this, especially for the people that are just starting. It's important. And I know I didn't have that. Nobody showed me. So I made a lot of mistakes. And I said to myself, what can I do to help the people that are just starting or that have a business that may not know some of the things that we do to help them make it to the next level? I wanted to create this space to be super authentic. Right. Like who we were, not putting up any fronts, not having to really watch our language. This is who I am. And this is who I am with my clients. I'm, I am straightforward. However, I'm a little bit more compassionate, a little bit more caring. However, I am straightforward and this is why I probably don't have the same issues that other people have in their right. businesses right. of people paying late or decreasing their budgets or whatever it may be. I don't have those issues because of how I conduct my business. It's the fear of God, no <laughs> Right. Like, They're scared, yeah, like, I can't be looking at this girl's payment. I'm, I ain't even gonna pay my rent. I'm just gonna go pay Aisha. That's right, people go get their hair done and not pay their rent. So pay me before you go pay your rent. I mean, at the end of the day, you, they just all have to figure out their niche. I say no more than I actually say yes if it doesn't go according to my brand. And you have to be comfortable and understand that Every client is not your client, right? And you may not be the right planner for that person. That is okay. You know, if you wanna make a certain amount a year or you want your events to look a certain way, you have to have those types of clients, right? So for me, right, 
My target target market is probably like three times more than what I actually charge currently. But I pay close attention to the detail that I put in now because my work already speaks for that client. I say that when you're just starting, pay attention to those details as well. I'm not saying spend a whole bunch of money, right? But I did in the beginning. And that was just me not knowing. When people ask like, what kind of items should you invest in? For me, I invested in everything when I first started, right? Because I had to reuse everything. I'm spray painting cake stands. I'm doing the most because I didn't have those budgets. Now, um, by the grace of God, I've been able to tailor my packages so I don't have to do all of that work, right? So now I outsource everything. I design all of my events. However, I'm able to outsource vendors to be able to do what they're great at and what they love to do. So now at this stage, I own nothing. When I first started, I owned vases, cake stands, just everything. And the question of if you should work for free in the beginning or whatever that may be, if somebody's willing to pay for that decor that you need for your portfolio, I have done that. So some of my family, I would never charge my family currently, although they still pay me. I still say no, right? But you have to spend $5,000 on this decor because I still need it for my portfolio, but I'm not gonna charge you my fee. You know, that's a way, my friends, Chantel, Felicia, these, Felicia's my best friend, Chantel's a great, great friend of mine, they invest in me, right? So my friends still believe in me, my family believes in me, and so they pay. And when people believe in you as a person, they will pay. So when you ask, should I give stuff away for free? Both people should be getting something out of it. So it's not free if you're getting photos for your portfolio and they look amazing, right? That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about just doing everything and it still has nothing to do with your brand. You have to understand what you're really trying to do and what you want your company to consist of. So price what you're worth, but be worth that. Don't give people crap and you wanna make a lot of money. You know, invest in yourself Sit in your house, I don't care what it is that you do, if you do balloons, if you do florals, if you do whatever. Every day, invest your own money into that and perfect it. So that when you quote someone a price, your work says that. God is great, play the straight. God is smile. It don't matter if they hate. God is smile. You the one, no debate. God is keep smile. Keep it real, f whoever keep it fake. God is smile. So like, tell me about like the sh the crap behind the scenes, like how you felt, oh. like anxiety, like the stresses that may have happened before I came. Oh, so today? Yes. So these tables originally was supposed to have linen and then overlays on them. The lady gave me the wrong measurements. So I swapped out those tables. I had new tables come in. The other tables were too small because as you see those centerpieces, they were cut for eight foot tables. So then I chopped them down to six foot tables. But then the tables were like as slim as this when they came. People can't eat on that, wow. right? So now I had to put those pieces back together, recreate it, use those wooden tables. Everything that, a lot of things that were according to my vision didn't happen. And when, you know, they come in and like, it looks beautiful. At the end of the day, that's why I'm a designer, right? Because every detail matters. And since I'm thinking of these things for months, I want it to come across that way. I don't want to miss any detail, which I've missed a couple. There were things that, other things that were supposed to be hanging with candles from the ceiling but that didn't happen because of vendors. Vendors are supposed to be here at six. They didn't get here till 9.30, they didn't get here till 10. That delays everything and that's the process that people do not see. And this is why when you're charging what you feel as though you're worth, you have to deal with all this additional stress. Right. I cannot deal with the stress. I agree. Well, that's how our best friends. Yes. And so since they're best friends, you can call me and then I call you about fashion. <laughs> so it works, like can you go find right. me this outfit or I need this for this exactly. event. And I feel like we allow each other to be great at what we we're do. great at. Of course, I'm gonna go to Aisha to plan Troy's party. This is very important to me and it's very imperative that it turns out amazing. I've been trying to work on this for months and months um, and our schedules have been conflicting, but now we're here and we get to talk face to face to figure out more details on how we're gonna put it together and how we're gonna execute it. But you know, I need you to plan Troy's party. It's gonna also be a release party. Okay. So I think that's a way to be creative and like figure it out, but you know, I don't want nothing to do with the process. Right. We talked so. briefly about it, but I think we definitely need to sit and we need to find a location. You have to That's let me know things part. that, yeah. I really don't want to deal with that. It's very stressful. I'm still debating if I should do it in Boston, if I should do it in New York. I know well, New I think York New York is, is better for him. 
better right. for him, but like everybody else that I'm involving, it's kind of better to do it in Boston. And as far as me knowing where to go and venues to use and stuff like that, it's better for us to do it here. But well, I think we need to talk more in depth about it and what, what that budget looks like and everything because I could possibly have, I spoke to some vendors about that and they're willing to travel. Okay. It's just having a location and us sitting and really solidifying, solidifying a design. Um, that works for him, right? Yeah. Because I don't know him, so you have to give me more details to be able to design something. Right, right. Trying to figure out uh, where we should have it is a big thing because I know he's very picky and specific about the food that he likes to eat and um, also putting everything together as far as colors and concept and stuff like that. He's, he's done so much and accomplished so much that trying to mesh everything together can be kind of difficult. But like I said, um, I know if anybody can get the job done, it's Aisha. We'll set that up um, before I leave for LA. And um, I will see you, I'm so All happy. Right, thank, you. Of you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, these beef fried niggas trying to assassinate me. When that ain't work, they turn around and try to assassinate my character. Man, I can't be stopped. I'm self-made, not man-made. I'm a soldier of God, and it's a war on these streets. Real verse fake, good verse evil. I just dropped a new project called Killer Be Killed, cause that's how I'm on it. And they ain't gotta give me no credit. It's cool, cause I got the cash. If you love New York City, the album made you without a deal. Bricks in my backpack is that type of vibe. I didn't drew inspiration from all the classics that look and sound like New York. Hit the scan and tell a friend.